That's right, Steph. Today, Robbie, Richard, and Larry all have two things in common. Today, they graduated from Focus Ministries, and they are all hopeful for whatever life has in store for their next chapter. It's been a challenge. It's not an easy road. Larry Goad says with life comes challenges. Falls and get ups, and it's uh, keeping on, keeping on. Today, he graduated from Focus Ministries, along with Robbie and Richard. Focus Ministries is a nonprofit that fosters hope for men and women behind the walls and beyond the walls. All three men discovered the program while incarcerated after struggling with addiction. It was uh, something that I had tried to get help for, um, never could just quite grasp it. The faith-based org has a three-step process starting behind bars and ending with people reuniting with their families and themselves. It was presented to me in a way of um, there being a savior out there that had already forgiven me for the things i had done. Focus Ministries Executive Director Sean Stutz says those who graduate from the program are 20% less likely to go back to prison. And we want to do whatever we can to eliminate those hurdles and those obstacles to get people back to productive members of society. Back in 2016, the Tennessee Department of Corrections found statewide 47% of people are either rearrested, reconvicted, or returned to prison. But that's something Richard Baker says being a Focus graduate may help him overcome. I'm coming out of this program with a lot better tools to live a successful life and not have to keep repeating the cycle. In fact, they all say this is the opportunity for new beginnings with more family and more opportunities to pay it forward. Showing people that there's a light at the end of this tunnel, no matter how dark it looks at this moment, you have to take the first step before you can even attempt to see the light. Now all three men celebrated their milestone with almost 100 family and friends today. And while they don't expect the journey will be easy, they all believe it'll be worth it. Stephanie.